Hello guitarists, welcome to my video on how to play Batman. Okay, now it's going to be pretty easy. It's following the same chords as a 12 bar blues. So, and this is starting with the G, we're in the key of G. So the first line is all G, and then we'll go to C, back to G, and then in the third line we'll go D, C, G. Now to play this, I'm going to go fret three for the G. Okay, now this is G where we're starting and finishing, okay, on the G. This is my home. Now, to get to C, I'll stay on the same string and I'll go to fret 8. Okay, fret 8 is the C. Okay, then back to G. <clears throat> and then up to D, back to C, and then G. So you have to memorize that. Okay, the order of the chords. Now, if you want to write it down, just do this or just try to memorize it. Now, each of these letters is going to be one bar, okay, from my 12 bar blues. It's my 12 bar blues chord progression. Okay, so I'm just going to play it one time. Okay, and I'm going to be counting to four for each note. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, change. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay? So that is the chord progression. So you just memorize that. Okay? Make sure that you've memorized that and that you can get from place to place just like that. And then you're going to do quarter notes. So playing every note four times. Okay, now that means in the first bar, because I've got four bars of G, it means I'm going to be playing 16 Gs, okay? Get your rhythm going. Count to four and start. One, two, three, four. G, G. Make sure you get your guitar and play along. That's three. One, two, three, and four bars. Change to C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then back to G. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, back to G. Now if that's easy, you do eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and change to C. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two then D. So that's my warm up, okay? Just changing from G to C and then changing from D to C back to G. Make sure you've memorized that, okay? Now, if that was too fast, just find a slower tempo. So that was tempo 100, I think. No, 100, that was 120. Okay, so do it again, okay, at a slower speed. Make sure you use a metronome or drums or with another person so that you can get a nice steady speed. Okay, now I was using my pick, I was going down, 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 but I could have gone down, up to make it easier as well, okay? So a little slower tempo. One thing from the start. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's four bars of G, okay? Then to C for two bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then back to G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then D. One, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. G. Okay, now quarter notes. One, two, playing on every beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That's four fours. Go to C for two bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, back to G for two bars. Okay, now the third line, I go to D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 
and next is eighth notes. Try it down up picking. Down up, down up, down up, down up. Bounce on the string. Down up, down. Just use a little bit of pick, your tip of the pick. And go to C. Then back to G. a bit of a slower speed hopefully that's okay and with the eighth notes you might find it hard to change from place to place you might need a bit more time so instead of doing eight one two three four five six seven eight and changing just do uh, seven or even five one two three four five change one two three four five change you can have a bit of a gap to allow yourself a little bit more to cha time to change but try to be on time at beat one when you change the chords. Otherwise it'll sound like really out of time and really sloppy. Okay, now we are going to do our Batman riff now. Three, two, one, two. Three, two, one, two. Okay, now this sounds really cool and it's not really that hard. To start with, make sure you're using third finger, second finger, first finger on those frets. Three, Two, one, and just do this as a warm up. Fingertip, 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 fingertip. Three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two. When I'm doing it, I more or less leave my index and middle fingers down when I'm not using them. Because as I go up to the third fret, second fret, first fret, second fret, I can just leave that index finger down the whole time and I can leave the second finger down when I go to the third finger. Third finger, all fingers down, second finger down, first finger down, second finger down, third finger down, all fingers are down, okay? So that's the pattern for G, and we have to do that four times. Two times, three times, four times, then go to C. whole thing and now one thing I want to say is because when you're playing eighth notes you're moving quite fast and you might not have much time to change from the third fret to the eighth fret so you sacrifice sacrifice that last note to give yourself some more time to change so you're only playing uh, a single uh, time on fret two so two times two times Give yourself some more time to change so you on the last one you just chop off the last note to have a, a little bit more of a time to change so this is the g three times on the fourth time i sort of chopped it off to give myself some more time to move my hand okay now i'm going to do it with the drums at the tempo 100 and then we'll just do it faster just for fun Okay, ready? One, two, on the G. That's four times now. Change. Two times on the C, back to G. Then the D. Then the C. Then the G. Faster. This is just for the uh, the speed freaks out there. One, two, one, two, three, four. I know some of you like to play fast, so you go down up. Even uh, sometimes then, I was playing that last eighth note. Sometimes I was sliding in between the third and the eighth fret to make that change a little bit easier. 
but more or less I make an effort to be on time. I actually always make an effort to be on time for the first beat. Okay, so that's probably the most important thing when you're doing it. Okay, now one more thing about the song. Um, it's fun to do when you're having a jam is mini bars on the G. That sounds like Batman. Batman, Batman. Then back to G for two times. One time on the D, one time on the C, then back to G. So that with the drums, it's pretty easy. So I'll just do a fast one, two, three, four. G, one time. Twice. How many is that? One more time, then go to C. Back to G. Up to D. Then C. And back to G. Okay, maybe some chords. G chord. C chord. chords power chords you need to just go down it's only down strokes that work D and if anyone's got a long pinky finger they can go all good it's all blues uh, it's fun hopefully you've got another person there who you can um, you can try it with um, if no one plays just get someone to count the time for you so that you can get used to uh, changing all those chords and and remaining in time okay guys good luck have fun